Animated infographics are literally everywhere and you probably press on this video, hopefully because you want to learn how to do them yourself in DaVinci Resolve. This is you. If you have a car, boat, machine, RV, or any asset and you're running out of space, that's where we come in. And after this video, you're going to be able to create infographics for yourself. And just so you know, the method that I use to create these with DaVinci Resolve is super, super simple. So I don't want to waste any more time. Let's get straight into the tutorial. Okay. Now that we are in DaVinci Resolve, let's do what we do when we start any new project, which is create our timeline and choose our resolution. Alrighty, so in terms of creating assets we need for the infographic, I am a really strong advocate of using Canva, with some help, of course, from using things like Leonardo AI, just another one of those like image generation softwares. I use this prompt to generate little warehouse facilities like this that I'm going to use for the infographic to create the setting. So anyways, let's import these into Canva. So let's simply import our elements here that we generated using Leonardo AI. Let's go ahead and go to background remover and let's do the same thing for this one right here. And now let's just resize it similar to what we had in the infographic we created. Now, I don't like that this one is already facing the other way. So let's go up here and flip that. Let's increase the size. Let's do something like that. And then let's go ahead and add some shadows by pressing edit in the top and then shadows right here. Let's press drop and increase the intensity and maybe just change the angle to the left side here. And then let's go ahead and do the same thing right here. Let's increase intensity a bit and then reposition that. And now let's go ahead and create the ground. We don't have to go too hard with this because we're gonna create a grid and lower the opacity of the background anyways, so it doesn't have to be too realistic. Let's just pick some sort of gray and then let's maybe add a bit of gradients. Just like that. So in order to create a really little trendy grid that has motion that a lot of other creators use, let's do something like this, 8,000 by 3,000. Now that we're here, let's go ahead and search grid. We can use one like this. And now let's figure out how to get this all the way across this entire workspace here. Connect it just like that. And then let's keep going all the way across. Now that we have all these, let's select all of them, duplicate and go down like this and then do the same thing. And once we import this into DaVinci Resolve, you will really see how we get good motion out of this. Now that we have our background and our grid in DaVinci Resolve, let's go ahead and put the background in the timeline and then let's put our grid on top of the timeline. Let's go ahead and position this to the way we want. We wanna push this all the way to the far left on the X axis, cause then we're gonna keyframe it and move it to the right to give it that little motion that you see commonly across creators. So in order to make the see-through and just enough where you still see the grid, let's go to composite and then go to add. Now let's go back to the background and lower the opacity. And now the grid's gonna be a lot more visible. Now let's manipulate the yaw a bit to give it some three dimension, but let's make sure that we do that on the grid, something like that. And now let's start with our keyframes. So what we're going to be keyframing is the X and Y axes at the start of the timeline and then the yaw. Now let's move to the end of the clip and let's move it only slightly to the right and let's move the Y axis just a little bit. And then let's just move the Y axis or the yaw, just a little bit like that. Now let's see how that looks. All right, that's the background we're after. Okay, we're back in Canva. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this little intersection while we animate it. And using Canva, it makes it really, really easy. And I love doing it this way. So first of all, let's just do a black background just so we kind of see what we're working with. Let's go over here to elements. Let's search up infographic person. What we can also search is isometric person. I believe this gives us better options to work with. As we see, there's quite a lot of options. Let's go with this person because this is the person that we used in the original video. Let's go over here to the text section. Let's go heading. Let's write this is you increase the size here at the top we can change the font i'm liking the way that's looking so now let's add an animation this is the coolest part so first let's press character up here at the top let's press animate we could do animate the whole page let's press magic animate i think i'm going to go with the energetic here now in order to import it into davinci resolve and keep it with a transparent background we have to first give it a green screen so let's choose this screen Let's customize the green and make it as green as possible. 
Perfect. Now let's press download and download as MP4 video. Okay, so if we can remember from the original video, it goes according to the script. This is you if you got a car, boat, machine, RV, or any other storage, and then it goes so on, so on. Yeah, we're gonna use these key points according to the script that I kind of roughly put here in order to put together our infographic. So anyways, let's put in our intro with the annoying green screen from Canva. As we can see, it still has that animation, but now we just gotta simply get rid of the green screen. So let's go to the left side here and go to open FX, and then let's search up 3D Keyer. Let's drag the 3D Keyer on top of this intro animation. Then let's make sure that under this little drop down, we have open effects selected. In the top right, we have the selector, and then let's simply just drag as such. Now let's see how that turns out. You can see that there's an annoying little green outline. So all we have to do to fix that is simply mess around with some of these settings. I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. So if we can remember, it goes, this is you, all right? And then let's add a keyframe right here and then go to the next point and drop it down just a little bit. And then let's go over here. We can see the X position, but what we really wanna see is the Y position. There we go. Let's select all these and then press this right here to smoothen out the motion. We can maybe bring this out a little bit. Perfect. And then the final thing that I always like to add is some camera shake. I like to put a PTR speed of 0.100 and then let's lower the randomness speed. And that will just give it a little bit of motion. Drop that down. And now we just have to add our elements. And in order to do that, we have to simply search for the elements just like we did with the first one and then import them into DaVinci Resolve. And now pretending as if the script was actually still there, we just simply attach each of the photos. Now that we have all that set up and aligned with the markers, the one thing that we can do to elevate any video is add little sound effects. So I'm gonna import these whoosh sound effects and these pop noises and put them across the board just like this. I use alt and drag in order to spread that out. So I simply just put that wherever we have the marker on the top or it would be in line with our script, but we don't have that imported at the moment. And then right here, conclude with one that has all of them together and you should have something like this. This is you. If you have a car, boat, machine, RV, or any asset and you're running out of space, that's where we come in. Anyways, that concludes the basic fundamentals to infographics in DaVinci Resolve with using things like Canva. Um, the workflow I use here can be replicated in so many creative ways, and I do plan on making more advanced versions of this tutorial in the future, but we'll leave it right here for now. I really hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Thanks. Peace.